All right, all right. What's up, guys? My name is Sean, and today you're gonna be watching some advanced warfare domination gameplay. In this gameplay, uh, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about playing smart and playing dumb in advanced warfare. Now, this variant or this gun I'm using is the SN6 Money, and the SN6 is probably one of the I don't want to say one of the worst SMGs. It's it's more mid tier. But when it gets matched up against either the ASM-1, BOW, or KF-5, it usually loses in the gunfight. So, you're going to be watching in this gameplay cases where, uh, you know, I play it smart and take on enemies, uh, you know, uh, like this, you know, flanking them. And instances where I kind of just run around like I'm using the ASM-1 and can take anyone out, and I get taken out, so... You're going to be seeing a couple different examples, and I'll show you throughout the gameplay where I did a good thing and where I made mistakes. So, um, this gameplay is a 17 capture gameplay. I ended up getting 17 caps. Um, that's, that's honestly pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty objective-based player. You just watch me run around with the ASM1 and get 95 kills in momentum game. But, um... I'm mostly an objective player, so this is, uh, you know, more, you know, more of my kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, you're gonna see me just running around the entire time. Now, this is an instant where I play it good, or where I play it nicely, where I come up top rather than running through, you know, straight through. Uh, whenever you can get verticality uh, on people, that's better than just running straight through. So, uh, this map. Especially, you gotta take advantage of the verticality because although this map can be really annoying with how, like how much, uh, like verticality there is, you gotta at least try to play it smart. And if you're just gonna run around, you're just gonna get flanked from a thousand positions. So you gotta kind of, you know, get a, you gotta get a UAV up, and basically, I know you gotta get a UAV up to succeed, but you kind of do on this map because without a UAV. It is basically impossible to know where people are, and it can be really frustrating. So right there, I played it stupid. I'm taking the SN sits into their spawn, and just didn't work out. Right there, that's a range that's pretty far for this gun, but I knew with him using the SMG dual wield machine guns that I could take him out no problem, even if he saw me. Uh, that was the range right there you just saw that you should use with the SN sits. So this play coming up right here is a good play. So uh, I, I want to take C, and uh, I'm going to get this little head glitch right here and secure C. And uh, I see people coming off in the distance, and right here, that, that range is just not going to work out. So what I do is, is I get verticality on my enemies once again, and you see they're, they're looking for me. But you know you never expect someone to be there. So I know there's one more, and... He's in the perfect range for me to take him out. So right there is an instance where I played it safe, and uh, I ended up picking three guys off really relatively easy. Like I hardly took any damage, and oh my gosh, get absolutely destroyed with the ASM one. I had no chance, <laughs> no chance. But uh, yeah, the ASM one definitely overpowered. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Um, whenever I get killed by it, I really, you know, most of the time it's not my fault. It's just it's so much better than usually the gun I'm using. Uh, this SN6, I like this gun. It's one of my favorite guns actually in the game. And um, the reason is because with the suppressor, it's a lot of fun to use. And, uh, you know, I obviously I wouldn't take this gun into, you know, a game against people that are good, like a clan. I'd take this gun against, you know, kind of just people using dual wield SMGs, you know, that's what this kind of, this gun's for, it's meant for fun, so, uh, and if you use it with, you know, anything otherwise, you're, you're not going to do very well, uh, this, this gun is not a competitive gun at all, but it's a lot of fun, so here's an instance where I play it not so safe, so look how damaged I am, and I'm going to regen my health, but, you know, I'm trying to get these guys off the flag, but, what I'm going to do is, is challenge this uh, after taking B when I should have went inside. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Hold on. They're, it's coming up. Hold on. 
I kind of said that a little bit. So right here, I should have, I should not challenge that because I should have looked at the, you know, waited for the radar to, you know, kind of uh, show up, and I should have waited for that rather than just running out like a crazy person. So that was one instance where I kind of played stupid, and right here I had no chance. Uh, ASM one just kind of not yeah no way any range against the ASM one you're pretty much gonna die at so there's really no point in even challenging um, but uh yeah from the back nothing I could have done about that that's the verticality I'm talking about these players weren't bad I mean I'd say there's like two or three guys that are actually really good on this team and um, uh, you know, this is another place. Nobody knows what nobody goes this way, and it's a perfect way for taking people out at sea. So uh, you know, just playing it smart, that sort of thing. Uh, a couple things actually, I need to say um, in this video. I forgot to mention yesterday in my ASM one video uh, that my clan YouTube channel is going, and there's actually a video of me on it. It's a like about a two minute clip of my clan commander introducing me onto the YouTube channel and it's basically a two minute relentless medal at which is 20 kills um, so uh, I'll link the clan YouTube channel in the description not the video but uh, if you just click on the YouTube channel you should see it and um, you know it it's a, it's a solid channel and we're trying to build subscribers on it so it'd be great if you could go check it out so um, you know, the SN6 money, it, it's a, it's a good gun, but, um, it's obviously no match to the KF5 or ASM1. Uh, I believe the suppressor is the best fit for it, because the range is kind of poor, but, um, you know, the, the suppressor actually won't change it that much. Uh, I'd say there's, like, six SMGs, right? I'd say two are great, two are mediocre, and two are bad. So the two that are great are obviously the ASM1 and KF5. They're absolute beasts and are probably going to be used in competitive multiplayer. Now, the look at that. That was a smart play. Rather than going through to the side there like he was going, I went in, into that where I had more cover and couldn't be taken out except for one way. So there was another, way, there was another time where I played smart. And that's what you got to do with this gun since its range is not so good. Uh, the, so the two great guns are the KF5 and ASM1. The next gun, the next two guns that are actually decent and definitely viable and I have fun with are the S, uh, the dual wielding SMGs. Um, what are their names exactly? I don't know. They're dual wielding SMGs. They kind of look like vectors, but um, they're they're I've never used them, but. I've definitely seen enough gameplays to know that uh, they are definitely viable. And the reason why I hopped off the flag there is because there was a SS1 Vulcan being called in. That's the reason why I hopped off. And the next gun is the SN6. I think that's the next best gun. And then the worst guns in the game, as far as SMGs goes, are the AMR9 and the MP11. So, if you enjoyed the gameplay, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.